Fam, fam, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Thaw Fam Over TV. Appreciate everybody tapping into the channel, showing love, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. You feel me? Salute to everybody in the building already. Um, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Viewer discretion is always advised. I appreciate all y'all on your way in. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'd like to say salute to Mike. Mike just sent the super chat. Uh, a dub. That's going to go a long way. I appreciate that, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Much love, fam. Um, well, not a super chat. He sent the cash app, but same thing, whatever. I appreciate that. Much love. For sure, for sure. But salute to everybody in the building, y'all. We got a good one today. Y'all go like that. For real, for real, for real. So y'all go like this. Some good vids. Appreciate everybody tapping into the channel. But I ain't going to hold y'all up. Let's get into it. What's up, Nicola Hall? How you doing? Step forward. Because him and Joe Biden has a weird bromance. Remember, Barack Obama already did two terms. He can't get reelected again. Trump did one turn. If Obama takes the seat at any time before election, or somehow Trump can't be reelected, somehow, some some way, some magically mysterious, and Barack Obama takes position, you already know what the hell time it is. Period. The solar eclipse is on April 8th. They want to match the energy that is about to transpire. And they feel Barack Obama is the best way to go. Oh, man, we in some he we in some shit right now. We are in some shit right now, man. We are in some shit right now. Major things is happening. There's a reason why there's so much big, huge distractions going on. Election is coming up. Solar eclipse is coming up. Did y'all not see what's going on in Israel, okay? Israel looking to come at the United States. Everybody is about to turn on Israel, the United States, everyone. Oh my gosh. Y'all better get ready and buckle y'all seats. Heading towards election April 8th going forward. Be on the lookout. Don't go to work that day, I said. School. It's not going to be open that day. I'm telling you for a reason. And they telling you to be aware of demon face syndrome. Yeah. We about to see what's going to happen. Buckle your seatbelts and stay prayed up. Hey, hey, I seen that about Israel and Iran. Um, they said it's about to go down or something. And they said this might be like the beginning of World War Three or something. So. I don't know, y'all, you know what I'm saying? But they said they they prepping for it. I guess I guess they didn't got it and heated up. I guess they said something about they didn't move so many like missiles and tanks and stuff somewhere or whatever. And I guess they're about to I don't know, y'all, but yeah, definitely. But I don't know about Barack getting back into office and all that. So much crazy stuff going on, but make sure y'all hit that like button. I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got, please stop. Hollywood rapper P. Diddy reportedly kept damaging footage of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. The scope of the footage is under tight wraps as the FBI does not want this to leak. Should the FBI release all of the evidence taken from Diddy's home? Yes or no? What? He got Barack and Michelle on camera too? What Barack doing messing with Diddy, man? Let me get off Barack, dog, for my mama to see this and, and get the call on my phone. Hey, 
you want to be the president of the United States, you, you call your man. Call MTV. We're going to give you a platform. We're going to give you a way to speak because cause, cause you on to something, kid. Well, you on to something. You making sense to me. You got me. I, I am franchised. <laughs> I'm not disenfranchised no more. Uh, and I, we have to, we're going to keep it nonpartisan, but we got to applaud when somebody's making sense. Because we've been all around, all over, speaking to politicians, and this is what we call real talk. This is what Pete. Now y'all understand why we vote. We gonna edit everybody ass, ass ass out and just run his. <laughs> yeah, I there you go, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan for for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. Uh, but this is part of what is important about giving back. Since we applaud you, I and, and I want to apologize for not sweating, but I but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool, and I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that. But I'm just so cool. Um, we 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 we, we, we. t-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes, he's designer. He'd be sweating just like me. The guy's good. The oh, and Diddy might have been high right then, y'all. He might have been off some. Hey, but look, I want to say um, salute to everybody in the community. You know what I'm saying? The chat, some of y'all in the chat. Content management on the Discord for all this content. A lot of this content I got from y'all sending it in. So I appreciate all y'all taking the weight off my shoulders and helping me. You know what I'm saying? Like, And there's some great content, too. So appreciate all y'all. Hold hands. It's like a whole new world for me. Just walking and holding hands. Something that one of our fellow Americans for years could not do. What kind of shit is that? I distinguish guests and men and women of the finest military in the world. Most of all, Admiral Mullen, Deborah. Michael and I also want to acknowledge uh, your son, Jack, who's deployed today. I ain't never heard him just say it blatantly like that. What? All of you have performed extraordinary service to our country. Hell no! As you said, when Americans look around the Middle East today, they see one reliable, stable, faithful ally of the United States and that's the democracy of Israel Americans know that Israel and the United States share common values that we defend common interests that we face common enemies Iran's leaders know that too you know for them you're the great Satan we're the little Satan for them we are you and you are us and you know something Mr. President at least on this last point I think they're right. We are you, and you are us. We're together. So if there's one thing that stands out clearly in the Middle East today, it's that Israel and America stand together. <laughs> but ain't we going against Israel right now? Ain't we finna... Ain't Iran or something in Israel about to scrap and, and get into it? And I think we supposed to be helping Iran or whatever or whatever. I don't know. But this is super creepy, man. Barack, man. Barack. I ain't even going to get on you. You know what I'm saying? With all the rumors we done heard about all the little in the closet allegations and all that, I ain't going to get on you because I know I'm, I'm going to have a problem with my mama. So I'm going to respect my mom. I'm going to respect you right now. I'm going to just let it slide. We should go listen to these. <laughs> you serious? I walk. What the fuck? What the? Oh, my fucking. Cicada getting insect invasion will be biggest bug emerges in centuries. Ain't no fucking way. Insect STD can cause hallucinatory effect. On birds that might eat them. The fuck is going on? Cicadas are nature's weirdos. They pee stronger than us. And STD can turn them into zombies. The fuck is going on? The periodical cicadas that are about to infest two parts of the United States aren't just plentiful. They're downright weird. These insects are the strongest urinators in the animal kingdom. What the fuck? 
These these insects are the strongest urinators in the animal kingdom with flows that put humans and elephants to fucking shame. Apparently, y'all, uh, it's not just a few of them or a couple thousand. They said a fucking trillion of these motherfuckers is going to be infested in the U.S. A trillion. More than a trillion. What the fuck? I swear, if I see one of... Ah, I'm not going outside. Ah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why the fuck is this a thing? What? How? Why the fuck is this a thing? Fucking way. It's bamboozling. This is this is this is this is uh, all jokes aside though. Did y'all just hear what the did y'all just see what the fuck I just showed y'all? What the fuck is going on? Why the fuck is this a thing? Why 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 is it happening this way? The fucking birds is gonna be eating the cicadas and they're gonna be hallucinating too. Off and then they're gonna turn into zombies too. And Man, where the fuck did these cicadas come from? Like, I don't remember nothing hearing nothing about no cicadas like back in the day and everything. This is like some new shit. Is this a, is this an insect that they made or something, y'all? Like, where did where did they come from? And why all of a sudden are they gonna be everywhere? I done seen them sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like that's man, that's crazy, y'all. Let's keep it going. cicada invasion is expected to hit the u.s this spring and summer two cicada broods are making a simultaneous comeback for the first time in over 200 years trillions of the insects are expected to emerge across a 16 state area mainly in the south and midwest illinois and iowa are expected to experience the emergence. oh this is gonna be in the south midwest over there <sighs> yeah don't bring y'all ass over here to vegas y'all probably go die in the desert it's too hot out here. Dry you motherfuckers out. ...of both broods. To help us understand what's going on, let's bring in Dr. Matt Kaysen. He's an associate professor of mycology and plant pathology at West Virginia University. So you are definitely the best person, professor, to explain to us in simple terms, why is this happening now? Well, we should first say that, um, you know, a lot of people travel to see the eclipse because it's such a biological mm -hmm. phenomenon. But this itself is a, is a real biological phenomenon. Um, periodical cicadas only exist here in the eastern United States, and different broods emerge in different years. But this happens to be the first time in, in 221 years that the great southern brood and the Illinois brood are overlapping. So the first time in 220 years, they're coming up together. So there'll be some overlap in eastern Iowa and um, Central Illinois, where these two broods are. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now, them cicadas, I done seen them. Like, in Michigan, I done seen them. And I think I done heard them. It's the cicadas, the ones that be making that noise, like, mm -hmm. It'll be real loud and shit. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, what is that? I didn't, I didn't heard them all in Flint, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't heard them out here. Definitely ain't heard them out here in the desert. And thank you. I'm glad I ain't heard them out here. I don't even want to see them out here. For real. But look at this right here. Look at this plane right here with a shadow. I ain't never seen that. And that look like a that look like a, a Kimmy, a Kimmy plane. Leaving some trails. And he got a shadow? Never seen nothing like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, are you kidding me right now? Biblical angel caught on camera. Man, what? So basically, these men were working on a regular day on their shift and thought they seen a UFO. But I thought out the box. These look just like the biblical angels. Look at the feathers. Look at the eye. Man, y'all cannot tell me this is not a biblical angel. Come on. There's so much stuff happening in the world and so much stuff coming to the light. It's just in our man. What the fuck is that, y'all? Is an angel supposed to be looking scary? I thought that looked like a monster. <laughs> what the fuck? Our faces now, like, I don't think you guys understand how scary this is getting. I'm not in fear because I know the truth. But once you wake up and really start seeing what's going on, it's just going to become regular to you guys, man. And it's ironic. I just dropped a video on this. But what do you guys think? Is this a UFO? Is it a biblical angel? Am I tripping? Even though I know I'm not. Let me know underneath. But other than that, keep your spirits clean. Stay pure. Stay meditated. Really and most of all, stay blessed. Tune in. I'm dropping more content. And giving what y'all deserve. Peace. Mm -mm -mm. Hey. I don't know. Maybe that was fake for sure. I hope it was fake because I definitely don't want to see nothing like that in the sky. With an eye in the middle of it, that got to be fake. Like, everybody would be true. Somebody else had to see it, too. It would be, be going crazy for sure, but I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up for sure, but I got to do some research on that. That right there, I don't know. They can't get me with that one. Let's keep it going, though. Make sure y'all hit that uh, like button for me. Earth, it's always been flat and enclosed by a dome. The Egyptians, Norse, Hindus, Mayans, Incas, Navajos, Hebrews, etc. All knew that the Earth is flat and covered by the firmament, which is basically an impenetrable barrier encapsulating the flat plane. The flat Earth model dominated for thousands of years. It wasn't until 1543 that Nicholas Copernicus proposed the heliocentric model of the universe. But even with that, flat earthers and the flat earth model still went strong all the way up into the 1900s. We see proof of that with books like Zetetic Cosmogony by Thomas Winship, published in 1899. Terra Firma, The Earth Not a Planet, Proved from Scripture, Reason, and Fact by David Wardlaw Scott, published in 1901, or even Kings to Thrones by Gerard Hickson, published in 1922, where the author details all of the problems with heliocentrism and the mistakes made by people like Copernicus, Einstein, Newton, Kepler, etc. So we see from the beginning of time all the way until the 1900s, the flattened stationary earth was going strong. In all honesty, flat earth has never died. But for the sake of this video, we'll say up into the early and mid-1900s. In a magazine from August 1931 called Popular Science, explorer August Picard went on record stating, It seemed a flat disk with an upturned edge after ascending 10 miles high on a balloon. 10 miles is only a little over 50,000 feet. Today, we have balloons going up to 121,000 plus feet, which is almost 23 miles, and the Earth still shows nothing but flatness. Not to mention, the horizon remains at eye level at that height, something that would not be possible if the Earth was a sphere. Mainstream science says that curvature becomes visible at 35,000 feet. It simply is not so. Now let's run through another timeline, the timeline of trying to hide the flat earth. Now we're going to exclude Copernicus. Hey, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Uh, viewer discretion is always advised. 
You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own opinion. I definitely think the earth is flat. You know what I'm saying? That's my opinion, but I'm sure it's going to be some round earthers on here like, hey, man, that's BS. That's bullshit, dog. Don't believe it. Whatever, but hey, let's keep it going. This here. We know that heliocentrism, spinning ball earth, has been pushed since the 1500s, but it wasn't until the 1900s that moves were made to hide the true shape and nature of the earth. In fact, they started programming us in 1912, before Earth's shape was even proven, supposedly. With the founding of Universal Pictures, we have been shown a spinning globe before every movie by that company for over a hundred years. But anyway, that started in 1912, and we kept cruising, and kept cruising, and in 1946, we have Operation High Jump where an expedition to Antarctica was led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd. They say they went to Antarctica to train, test equipment, and test the possibilities of establishing and maintaining military research bases. They claim to have charted the Antarctic coastline during this time. Who knows what else they found? Fast forward a little bit. 1955, Operation Deep Freeze. This is just an expansion of High Jump, where more research bases are added to Antarctica. Fast forward a little more, 1958. NASA is established, followed by the proposal of the Antarctic Treaty in 1959, and the implementation of it in 1961. The treaty basically puts Antarctica off limits to civilians, with the exception of guided tours that are carefully supervised. In 1962, Operation Fishbowl takes place. Now this is where people start thinking that they found the firmament or dome during Operation High Jump or Operation Deep Freeze because for some reason they started firing nuclear missiles straight up as if trying to mess with the firmament somehow. And not to mention the name of the project, Fishbowl, easily symbolic for the enclosed nature of our world. A lot of people don't believe in nukes, nuclear weapons, but I obviously can't confirm one way or the other. Just do your own research. Okay, so the same year, 1962, JFK gives his famous We choose to go to the moon speech. Now I think all of these events tie into these guys finding out about the true disposition of Earth, including the crystalline canopy that we can't get past. Keep that in mind. They know we are trapped in and we can't leave. And they choose to pretend like we can leave, which comes back and bites them in the ass later. We'll get there, but let's continue. Four years later, 1966, Lunar Orbiter 1 captures the supposed first ever picture of Earth from deep space. Two years after that, in 1968, Apollo 8 captures this. In 1969, they capture this after Apollo 11 lands man on. That's a lie. All those damn fake ass pictures they put up on us, man. I don't believe none of that. None of them Apollo pictures. None of that. Ever since I did, the, especially since the stream yesterday, since that NASA um, ex worker came out and said all oh, everything was fake, they was they was just making creating those pictures and everything. I don't believe none of that. Shit. On the moon for the very first time. And in 1972, on their sixth and final trip to the moon, we get one of the most famous pictures of all time, the blue marble. These alleged pictures of Earth, especially 1972's blue marble, are the entire reason behind pretending to go to the moon in the first place. The spherical Earth, flat Earth debate is over. All the ancient cultures of the world and all of the authors writing flat earth books well into the 1900s are incorrect. The earth is not flat. NASA has proved it. It's over. You live on a spinning ball, just like Universal Pictures predicted. Only one problem with that. It's now 2017. Curvature cannot be detected by anyone on earth. Motion can't be detected, nor has it ever been proven, and now all of the sudden we can't figure out how to get past low Earth orbit. Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. NASA's next spacecraft, already being built and tested across America, will do those things and more. This is the spacecraft that's going to take 
humans to explore uh, the solar system. It's the next big step for NASA in exploration. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. The kinds of technologies that we're testing out on space station are definitely helping us with our goals of going beyond low Earth orbit. I think in, in many would consider it maybe even science fiction. The plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is, that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to, be, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth. I'm just laughing because, like, all oh, this shit, like, me, even looking at them standing in this fake ass, I don't know what they, what they in, like, fake traveling little, I don't know what they in, rocket or something, like, some space shit. I just get to laughing because I know it's all fucking, uh, it's all a hoax. <laughs> They've they been putting plays on it, so I can't believe none of it. You feel me? Orbit, that's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to, and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. Low Earth orbit is between 99 miles and 1,200 miles away. So we'll say that we can't get past 1,200 miles, and that's a big problem because the moon, according to the heliocentric model, is about 237,000 miles away. Now that's a big... Well, well, how did we ever go to the moon then? <laughs> man, I'm glad he putting videos out like this, man. This, 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 thank you, man. This, maybe this will help some people realize, like, yeah, man, we've been, we've been fooled. You know what I'm saying? Come on, now. Uh. Difference. Why was it so easy to go to the moon six times between 1969 and 1972, but we can't go no. even 1% of that distance now right. in 2017? Yeah, 1%. We can't even go 1%. Or 2024, man. I know this probably an old video, but 2024, we can't do it still. Into that distance. Of course, they blame it on the idea of a radiation belt. But the truth is that the Van Allen belt is a cover story for the firmament. We live on a flat plane inside of an enclosed structure. It has always been this way, and it will always be this way. The ridiculous notion of us living on a spinning ball darting through infinite space is very new on the complete timeline of mankind. Hey, Adam, is that true, y'all? He said astronauts do have Hollywood stars like actors. I don't even know that. Do they? And if they do, why? Why would an astronaut have a Hollywood star? Because they did that great, good, fake moon landing that tricked the whole world. So they had to get a star. We got to get them boys a star. We tricked the whole world with this shit. We had China, everybody thinking we went up there. And at the rate things are going, it won't be around much longer. The deception of heliocentrism will have been a very short-lived attempt at removing man from his and her divine nature. Man, it's crazy, y'all. It's too much. Hey, y'all, and, and let me let let me say this, y'all. All these videos, conspiracies and everything, I don't want y'all to go down this rabbit hole and, and, and start making your brain fuzzy and, and drive you crazy and none of that. But remember, y'all, we just watching this, you know what I'm saying? We just tapping into this stuff, just seeing how they've just been lying to us forever and all that type of stuff. So don't, don't, don't get lost watching all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause it'd be hard on me looking at all this different shit. Like I don't be knowing what, like it will mess with you. It'd drive you crazy looking at all this stuff. I don't want y'all to do that. So stay positive. Stay on wave y'all. We on wave over here. We just watching this stuff to learn about it. Feel me? Let's keep it going.
in history. I ain't even go comment on that. I ain't even go comment on that. Let's keep it going. It repeats itself, you guys. Check this out. Another incident involving a cargo ship, y'all. This is in Turkey. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. How much of a coincidence is this? Look at the cranes falling. Oh, man. Look at the cranes. Look at that, y'all. Oh, shoot. One, two. Here's another angle of this, y'all. It looks like three cranes went down. Huge cargo ship just hit them. That's crazy. And do you see the color of that cargo ship as well? Hmm? It doesn't look familiar. Does it look familiar, y'all? Does it look familiar? Kind of looks like this, right? From the movie Leave the World Behind. The same color, right? Look at it. The only thing it doesn't say is white lion, but it is the same color. Black and red. How ironic. What are the coincidences of this, y'all? I told you guys, our life is a movie. The earth is nothing but a huge stage. And right now, this is like the credits rolling out. This is why everything is becoming so synchronistic, you know? Time is speeding up. The illusion is falling down. We are entering the age of Aquarius. But yeah, things are gonna get a lot more interesting, y'all. Stay tuned, I hope you guys are ready. And yeah, we're getting close to that solar eclipse. But this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Uh, uh, uh. Did y'all mm. hear about what happened at CERN? So just not too long ago, they said that they discovered a 4D ghost. A 4D ghost within the particle accelerator. And they said that it was sending out particles all over the place. <clears throat> if you see the picture, then you can see what I'm talking about right now. Now, mind y'all, what in the world? Let's connect the dots. Mind y'all, just, just, just on April 9th, they say the person that started this Higgs particle accelerator, he died on, on, on April 8th, I believe, or April 9th, the day of the solar eclipse, right when they was beginning to start up their particle accelerator again. They haven't started it up in a while, but they started it up on the April uh, on April eighth, the solar eclipse, and the dude died. Higgs died. That's not a coincidence, because logically thinking, y'all just had a ghost, a four D ghost, in the particle accelerator, sending out fucking particles all over the place, and now a four D ghost, y'all. Y'all help me out, so. Is they saying like a real ghost or is, is it like just a y'all help me out man or is this like just rhetoric or you know he meaning something else like a real ghost a 4d ghost i'm not uh, now the dude that made this shit died on the day of the solar eclipse hmm now i can logically say it might have been the 4d ghost it might have been the 4d ghost but it's also like they just started this shit up on the solar eclipse. That's already some weird ass shit. And then the dude dies. It could be a sacra. I'm not going to say the full word, but it could be a sacra. It could be a sacra. To leverage more energies. And y'all know they got that Shiva statue outside. So they could be sacra for other gods. Just to get more shit done in their own eyes. Just to speed stuff up. Because what if they needed a certain energy to boost that that energy? I'm just calling it how I see it. It's just weird. And, and this kind of does need to be paid attention to. Because I was just telling y'all, they starting that particle accelerator up on April 8th. And then dude dies on the same day. Dude dies on the same day. And prior to that, they're talking about they found a 4D ghost. <laughs> Do y'all remember that one Interstellar movie at the end where he was doing the handshake with the 4D, uh, the, the 4D entity that could like fucking change shit and shit? 
Bro, it, it sound like some shit like that. If it's a 4D ghost, if it's a 4D, uh, yeah. It sound like some interstellar shit. This shit crazy. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, because I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't think that shit a coincidence. Ain't no more coincidences, fam. Ain't no more, man. That shit is crazy, for sure. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't, all y'all. Haven't already. Just keep it going, y'all. A 4D ghost, and then on April 8th, the dude dies. Nah, something not right. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. There will come the time, and it's not going to take long, where a natural separation is going to take place. A natural separation. The ones that are able to read the signs, that are able to go with what is happening, to adapt to the changes this world is bringing to us, they will move on to another world. They will move on to another area, to another cycle of us humans being right now here on the earth. And other people that are unwilling, unable, maybe incapable of adapting to the coming changes. It is simple like this. They will stay with the old world, which is about to end. That's the message. The old world about the end. Hey, listen. First of all, I want to say, man, this is my eighth day and not smoking, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want to say rest in peace to my marijuana habit. That shit gone. You know what I'm saying? I think the hardest days is behind me now. Feeling good. I can feel my body adjusting. I can feel my hormones adjusting everything. Adjusting, you feel me? So, but I just had to say that since we um talking about raising vibration or, you know what I'm saying, different shit finna come in, but... Check this out. Let's keep it going, y'all. People, I can't make this shit up. Once again, Ingersoll Lockwood called this shit. And I didn't know what this was for in this picture. But now it makes sense. Look at this. We're going to get back to this picture right here. I know you've all seen it a couple times. But if you look up in the right-hand corner, you will see what's supposed to be the eclipse. What some of us believe is the black sun. And in front of it, there is a sandwich, all right? Are you keeping up, people? There is a sandwich in front of the sun, the eclipse, all right? Let me explain. It was all planned. <laughs> we clearly seen the sun, and then we seen the eclipse, and then the eclipse was sandwiched by the sun simulator. When I tell you that I go to Ingersoll, I believe Ingersoll it. never lets me down. Ingersoll never lets me down. Watch the exit. Hey, NASA was supposed to shoot rockets at him. Oh, the sun came forward. What's that all about? What is that? See it on the edge? Yo, what is that? that? What the hell is that? What is that, man? That's not... Yo, man, what was that all about? I can't make this shit up Check this shit out I'm just mobbing through the projects on the way to the store And I look up and see this same big ass red ass moon And as I get closer I notice that these fucking clouds is forming over the fucking moon Now check this out The moon and the clouds take off and go back to the projects And these clouds is moving fast as a motherfucker Look at it Just moving quick as shit And then out of nowhere on my mama It started lightning everywhere for about 10 minutes straight And the weird shit about it is that it's all lightning, no thunder, no precipitation, no water, just all electricity. And this shit is going ham in the sky. It's making different shapes. With a blood clock going upon the sky, you know? It was even different colors forming through the middle with this big motherfucker. Look at this shit. The only cloud in the sky. 
just booming. And these niggas next door looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, y'all look the fuck up. Look at this shit. I know y'all see it. This shit look like Goku and Kid Bulls up in the sky beating the shit out of each other. Just throwing shit at each other. Kamehameha wave and shit. And I hate lightning, but I have to sit out there for this shit. Look at this. I mean, it is constantly going over and over and over. And you mean to tell me the only cloud in the goddamn sky is giving off this much motherfucking power, electricity, and look at this. Goddamn. Yeah, and if you notice, ain't no planes flying nowhere near that motherfucker. Maybe that was just like some CERN type shit or something, but yeah, I done seen lightning in the sky. Plenty of times, and it wasn't raining and all that type of shit. So, I don't think that's like super, super duper weird. But with everything going on, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what that might, they might have been up there doing some shit, man. That might have been some energy from what they was trying to, they might have been working on or practicing with one of their experiments or one of their little toys that they got or something. No birds, no nothing. Wait, wait, hold the fuck up. I gotta bring that last one back. Look at this. When the lightning shot up, this demonic ass looking demon flew out that bitch and then covered the moon. Man, do y'all hear him though? <laughs> man, I thought I was bad, like with cussing and everything, man. He this a he this a real hood reporter right here. Real hood reporter. Ghetto hood reporter right here. Right after that, look at that. Cover the moon. Why the fuck is the moon dark now? And if I'm tripping, y'all let me know. But that thing inside the moon kind of looked demonic as a motherfucker. Y'all thought that lightning shit was done. Wrong. More of this shit coming. Look at this. This shit also reminded me of this movie called War of the Worlds. It was about an alien invasion. But before the aliens came, they spaceships had this cloud cloaking technology where you couldn't see the spaceships but they were shocking the ground with this electricity and that was waking up they fucking machines and for all the know-it-all astronomers out there on tiktok let me know this how the fuck can the moon produce electricity and you can see his ass peeking up look look there you go in the middle see see the little circles in the middle yeah that's the motherfucking moon you see it right there Right there. So can somebody please jump in my comments and tell me what the fuck is going on in the sky? Because I can't tell y'all because TikTok sent me a disclaimer and it read participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Motherfucker for what? Just for recording what I see in the sky? But any fucking way, I'm going to need y'all to go back and actually look at this video and pause some of the lightning. Look at this one. This is clearly a man standing up in the clouds. And this one looked like a black woman holding a baby. This one looked like a sad ass go to retriever for some reason. And of course we got Mr. Demon peeking from the ceiling. And I ain't gonna even hold you on this one. I don't know what the fuck this looked like. A, a whale and a... I don't know. But you can clearly see that so-called moon sitting in the middle of that bitch, huh? We got motherfucking Lord Raiden walking through the sky. After that, Mr. Moon did the Batman signal on my ass. And I'll let y'all describe what the fuck this looked like because I have no idea. Yeah, that's crazy. Clown face, I don't know. For some reason, I put baby mama back up here. I don't know why, but my bad. Oh, yeah, and this ugly-ass troll-looking thing in the sky, too. And we can't forget Magic Demonic Johnson. <laughs> oh, yeah, and before y'all start talking shit. What the motherfucker said Magic Demonic Johnson? <laughs> oh, my God, man. I love it, man. Entertainment purposes only, y'all. Uh, we got to have a laugh with it. Shit. Yes, nigga, I did look at the forecast that exact same day at the exact same time I was recording. And as y'all motherfuckers can see, it was not a bomber ass clot, a raindrop on the whole blood clot sky, you know. Mad dog, so. when you go When you go to the supermarket, the next time you go to the supermarket, bro, everything that's in the middle of the supermarket has been created to destroy you, you know, through our own ignorance, bro. So when you look at the ingredients, the ingredients say corn syrup on uh, most of the stuff, right? That's the, the, one of the top cancer causing products, right? That actually lowered our lifespan where we were able to live about 260 years old. Now it dropped down to 160 years old. If you are on a full alkaline diet, right? And you're, you know, you're doing everything, you're living by the laws of the land. So we had to build. You mean to tell me they used to live to 260 years old? He talking about now we can go to 160. I thought we only can go to about 110, 115, something. I ain't think we can go up that far. My granny, she lived till she was what 101. And my uh, these pyramids because they were actually, and this isn't prophecy, trying to get back to their their dimension or whatever because they're stuck here. 
they, they that's when you get the whole book of Enoch and them trying to use Enoch to be an adversary for them or kind of talk to God and hey let us back in but he denied that clemency they were bound it says in the coldest desert area that would be found for or under the Euphrates River and those are areas that you can't go to like I mean the the majority of them like Azazel and all them that fell upon Mount Hermon they're on the Arctic Circle that surrounds the earth it's about a 200 foot ice wall that's why you can't go there you know um, those they they do have they use a, a form of energy that supposedly is not known to us but how they use the center the center of, of the earth is um it's four it's called magnetite there are four big mountains of magnetite and like that I mentioned this before that's how our, our sea creatures and a lot of animals use that as a as a reference to go go migrate or you know breed and so on and so forth but they use a form they use that to levitate how, how we learn the technology from them you know what I mean so that's where that comes from, bro. The the Kini Nine or Nephilim giants. That's who had us under captivity. You can look at a lot of um, Cortez's um, in his diary. He wrote how they could see before they even came onto the land. They could see giants from afar. Wow, y'all, crazy, crazy. Hey, ATX, yeah, I know. I see you put in the Bible says, "Do not add or take away from the Bible." But you should have been telling them that a long time ago, fam. That shit, they've been adding and taking away since that motherfucker dropped. <laughs> so, hey, you know what I'm saying? You like, you, you about 150 years later, or something. I don't know. But appreciate everybody who tapped in today, man. These videos are crazy. Like I said, we just got to stay on way, stay positive. You know, watching all this stuff, it'll drive you crazy, but we ain't going to let it drive us crazy. We, go, we just, Watching them for awareness and entertainment purposes only. Make sure y'all stay on way. Make sure you're praying and <sighs> stay positive, man. Try staying those good frequencies and vibrate high. Peace and love to all y'all. Appreciate all my moderators today. I'll be back with another live soon, y'all. So tap in. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace and love. Love all y'all. This your boy Thal Fam over TV. Peace. <laughs> Fam over. Thank <laughs> you.